Alright, hey, what's up, everybody? Um, I want to do something. I think my first two my GM videos was mainly just like showing y'all my GM and just kind of like making decisions as far as the team goes. And then I did a video of a game. And I know y'all enjoy probably watching the games, but I know a lot of y'all, me, I just like seeing, you know, making moves to make the team better. So I'm going to do one because a lot of people kept asking me. Hey, you should see what you get for Rudy Gay, or you should see what you get for DeMarcus Cousins, or Carl Landry, or Ben McLemore, or whatever. So I'm going to show y'all all of the options right now, trade options. Show y'all what we can get for who. And then, I guess, I'm not saying that, you know, when I see, I don't know, some people went down. I don't know why. Omir got hurt, so that's probably why he's at 69. But he was higher than that. He was in the 70s. So I think he, uh, he had just got hurt. But uh, he's supposed to be more than that. Anyway... Uh, we're going to show y'all all the options and you can uh, put in the comment section what you think is a good deal or not that don't mean that I'm actually going to do the deal uh, but you can you know leave in the comment section what you think and why you know what I'm saying so first of all we'll start off with Rudy Gay because that's the person people seem to want me to trade the most the 76ers are willing to give me two first round picks. I never saw that before, believe it or not. That's actually a new uh, trade that they're offering me. Two first round picks in 2014. Well, one in 2014, the other in 2015. And I'm not sure if they actually, I think 2K fucked up and they didn't give me the draft class that I asked for. Because I downloaded one with Andrew Wiggins and Jabari Parker and all these people. And I don't think they really got me that because I didn't get the I didn't get the option to uh, scout Wiggins and Parker and all them dudes. So I don't know. So I don't even know if I really truly want first round picks. Bobcats, they're really willing to give me Luke Rittenauer and uh, Gerald Henderson for Rudy Gay and Reggie Evans. I don't think that's a good deal. OJ Mayo and Zaza Pachulia for the same package. DJ Augustine and Carlos Boozer for the same package. I'm not trading for no fucking Carlos Boozer Bulls. Lua Dang and Spencer Halls for Rudy Gay and Reggie. The same package. I would love to have Spencer Well, actually, we have Omir, so we don't really need Spencer Halls. If I didn't have him, that would be a nice, you know, nice move. I don't want Lua Dang. I need scoring. We're not scoring. But we we need to get better on defense, but I'm not trading Rudy Gay for Lou Dag though. I did hope the Bulls did that in real life. I was hoping for that. Rajon Rondo and Keith Bogans for Rudy Gay and Isaiah Thomas. Problem with that is Keith Bogans isn't a scorer and Rondo isn't a scorer. He's a good point guard, but he's not a scorer. So we give up two guys who can who can pretty much score for the team for guys who don't score. That hurts our offense and we won't be as good, I don't think. <laughs> the Memphis Grizzlies want Rudy Gay back for Zach Randolph. Uh, Isaiah and Rudy Gay, they, the Hawks are willing to give up Lou Williams and Paul Millsap. We have Carl Landry, so Millsap will be on the bench. I don't know how that will work out for us. Uh, Utah Jazz willing to give up Marvin Williams and Trey Burke. Knicks, J.R. Smith and Andrea Bargnani. Pal Gasol and Jordan Hill from the Lakers. A first round pick that's worth three stars. And it, how do you say his name? Etuan? Etuan Moore? I don't know what the fuck. But, uh, problem is that we trying to make the playoffs because, uh, here's the thing. The owner wants us to win at least, what is it, 15 or 18 home games. So we have to be at least pretty decent. And then he wants us to, but yet he wants us to, uh, what is it? He wants us to have a good first round pick. So I can't trade all my first round picks. That would be a good one. But you have to give up Rudy Gay and Marcus Camby in the process for a first-round pick that would happen later and each one more. Dirk, oh, I didn't know that. They was willing to give me that. Dirk Nowitzki for Rudy Gay. I never saw that. Problem is, we went, well, We can move Chandler Parsons to small, but we still have Carl Landry. We could maybe trade Rudy Gay, get Dirk, and then trade Carl Landry for uh, somebody else. That way, Dirk is our starting power for it. That's actually pretty interesting. Plus, he's, uh, I think, if I'm not mistaken, he's off uh, books next year. He's only on a one-year deal at this point, if I'm not mistaken. Nets, Paul Pierce, and Marcus Thornton for Rudy Gay and Isaiah Thomas. Nope. Gallinari and Timothy Mosgov. Louise Scholar and Roy, Hi Roy Hibbert for Rudy Gay and Marcus Camby. Tyreek Evans and Ryan Anderson for Carl Landry and Rudy Gay. That does not make us better. 
Kyle Singler and Josh Smith. I'm not entertaining that. I'm not entertaining that. 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 Not entertaining. No, wait a minute. Nah. But see, I think the only one since the plate been back with more 26 minutes. So if I trade him, I might get fired. So I can't do that. And the Nay for uh, a first round pick for Rudy Gay. That doesn't help us. Once again, we have Carl Landry. That doesn't help us getting an A, to be honest. So that was Rudy Gay. And then, you know, I'll do three people because this video will be long if I do everybody. A lot of people ask for Carl Landry, what I can get for him. 25 offers. Byron Mullins and a second round pick. Bobcats willing to give up Chris Douglas Roberts and a second round draft pick. Udo and a second round draft pick from the Bucks. Cavaliers willing to give up Spencer Halls, Tyler Zeller for Marcus Cammy and Carl Landry. Boston Celtics give up a first round draft pick worth two stars and Brandon Bass for a first round draft pick that's almost worth two stars, one and a half and Carl Landry. Memphis Grizzlies, Courtney Lee and Udra Bino, whatever fuck his name is, for Carl Landry and Mar Marcus Camby. And then the Hawks, Jeff Teague and a, for a first round pick and Carl Landry. Miami Heat willing to give up Shane Batten and Udonis Haslam for Camby and Carl Landry. I'm not helping y'all out. That doesn't help us at all. That only helps you. Utah Jazz, Brandon Rush and a second round draft pick. Nope. Ian Martin, Andre Bagnani, Aaron Aflalo and a second round pick. Jose Calderon and a first round pick. Marcus Thornton and Jason Collins. Uh, Jan, what is it? How do you say his first name? Jan? It's, no, it's like, I don't know. Something, Vesley. Okay, Vesley. Darrell Arthur, Evan Turner, for a first round draft pick and Carl Landry, Pelicans, Ryan Anderson, a second round draft pick, Will Bynum, Charlie Venezuela, and hell no to Ellie Hansbro and Chuck Hayes, Tiago Split and Patrick Mills, first round draft pick, almost worth three stars, and Marquise Morris for a first round draft pick and Carl Landry, Stephen Adams and Kendrick Perkins for Campy and Landry, Budinger and a second round draft pick for uh, Landry, Darrell Wright, Robin Lopez for Campy and Landry. Steve Blake and Marcus, I mean, uh, Marie Spates for Reggie Evans, Kevin Serafin and uh, Martell Webster, Byron Mullins. All right. And then last but not least, some people have been asking me to trade Isaiah Thomas to get a better point guard, and probably because he's only 5'9". Actually got more offers for him. Byron Mullins once again. They want Byron Mullins out of that bitch bad. Him and Chris Douglas Roberts. OJ Mayo and Carlos. See, all of these, look. I'm going to just go through them and let y'all read them. Because I don't feel like seeing all these. Look. Amy Bradley. Darren Collison. Mike Miller. Mike Miller wouldn't be bad. but uh, Mike Miller wouldn't be bad. But then we'll have to have start Patrick Beverly. And we already have a whole bunch of three-point shooters. Um, Paul Millsap. First round draft pick. Michael Beasley. First round draft pick. Uh, Iman Shumpert. And a first round draft pick. How do the Knicks have a first-round draft pick? Don't, they don't have a first-round draft pick this year. They must have traded for that in this game. Uh, so, I'm, look at them. And if y'all need to pause, pause on these uh, deals. I'm trying to give y'all enough time to see what they is, what they are. None of these... Be honest with you, the only deal that intrigued me this whole time was trading, uh, who was it? It was Rudy Gay, I think, for Dirk. reason why I say that is because Dirk can put us over a hump. And then we can trade Carl Landry, maybe, for a solid player. And then we would have Dirk Nowitzki, former Finals MVP, former, I mean, former superstar, with DeMarcus Cousins, with Ben McLemore and Chandler Parsons and all these dudes. To trade Carl Landry, maybe, for a solid small forward. That would help. That's the only one that intrigued me. To be honest with you. That's the only one that intrigued me. Uh, you know what I'm saying? That's the only one. I'll be honest. None of these intrigue me. Danny Green. I would like to have Danny Green, but not for what they're asking for. All right, so leave in the comment section what y'all think. What should I do? Was there any trades that interest y'all? It was like, hey, man, you should make that deal. That deal is pretty good. You're going to be a fool, fucking jackass, if you uh, turn down that trade. Let me know in the comment section what you think, player.